And we are live. Hey guys, it's Tori, your Monster Energy Pit Reporter, and I am here right now with the guys from Broadside. How's it going today? Hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like you guys are all in different places. Where are you? Where, where, what's up? <laughs> Who wants to go first? Uh, San Diego, California. Yes. And what about you guys? <laughs> Everyone <laughs> there? Um, I'm in Richmond, Virginia right now. Yeah. Okay. And I'm in Los Angeles. All right. Well, you guys are spread all over the place. Interesting. Um, yeah. So getting things going here, this is going to be your first year out on Warp Tour. So or you must be pretty pumped for it, huh? Getting ready for it? So, honestly. Oh, yeah, yeah. So excited. And, I mean, what is it about the tour that drew you guys to want to be a part of it? Because there's so many different aspects to it, and there's a lot happening. So what was it for you guys that drew you to it? I've been going since I was a kid, so it's kind of just a dream and a bucket list thing for me. So I'm excited. Yeah, when was your first year of Warp Tour? It was years ago. Let's just say, like, <laughs> Jimmy Eat World and Alien Ant Farm were on it. Oh, that it was, is amazing. Yeah, it was a long time ago. <laughs> what about you guys? Um, I grew up uh, just buying the compilation CDs. I could never afford to go to Warp Tour. Um, so I would always catch up on that or um, just, like, creep on the bands that were playing and go to their MySpace page or watch them on Fuse or MTV. Yeah. And so, yeah, and a bucket list thing as well. I'm just really excited. Um, it's just, like, massive, especially for our genre. Uh, and especially it's an opportunity that's, like, like no other. Like, you'd be a fool to ever think about turning down an opportunity like this. Absolutely. And uh, so what aspect of the tour is your favorite? I mean, there's a lot happening, signings and nonprofits and a lot of really cool sponsors and just a lot of activities happening around there. So um, what are you guys most looking forward to while you're out there, looking forward to experiencing? Um, I'm really trying to work on my tan. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll get some help out there for sure. You're going to uh, come back a different person. I'm stoked. Um, yeah, well, I'm excited to meet uh, people, and I know that, because uh, of certain areas or certain show times or what have you, uh, some of uh, our fan base or our potential fan base doesn't get the opportunity to come and see us live, so it's really cool. This is like a field day um, in the sense of finding out new bands, coming to see some of your favorites, or um, just the, the, the basic, hey, I'm just checking you guys out, or you guys are hideous to look at, so I wanted to come see how bad your band is, so... Whatever the situation might bring people to watch us, I'm excited for that opportunity to just get to talk to people and dap people up and make them listen to our music. Yeah, definitely. Anything else you guys want to add to that? I'm excited to see all my favorite bands. Yeah. That's going to be awesome. And just hanging out with them. Who in particular are you guys looking forward to seeing out there? It's a really great lineup this year. It's so sweet. There's so many. I mean... Every Time I Die has been a favorite, so I'm very excited about them. Uh, mm -hmm. Newfound Glory, because oh, sure. they were one of the first ones I saw. So, bands like that, I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. yes. um, I'm really stoked to see Sun 41 and Good Charlotte. And even, um, I'm pretty sure Atreyu is doing like, a leg of the tour. So, oh, like, the 15-year-old metalcore kid inside <laughs> me is really stoked for that. I love it. <laughs> And as much as it is a really fun tour, it is also a lot of work, a lot of grueling days out there. So how are you guys preparing for the summer? Anything in particular? Um, personally, I live by a couple of mountains. And just being in L.A., it's like an opportunity to like hike and run everywhere. So I've been working on, this is going to sound pretty pretty vocalist of me, I've been working <laughs> on, you know, you know I've been uh, working on um, just the resistance of being in heat and that sort of thing. Get my bod right, you know, and then um, I'm forcing myself to talk more at like Whole Foods so I can, you know, not be able to around other people. <laughs> Definitely some good tactics there to get ready. And um, so part of what makes Warp Tour so awesome is that it really gives you the opportunity to meet your fans one on one and hang out with them a bit. And we did get some fan questions on Twitter of people wondering if you're going to be doing signings and meeting greets or if they'll have the chance to take pictures and whatnot. So is that something you're planning? Yeah, absolutely. We'll be hanging out. 
all day just like walking around and trying to just meet as many people as possible. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing like a bunch of signings and stuff as well. So they'll have plenty of opportunities to meet us and like get everything signed, take photos, do all that fun stuff. Yeah, so it sounds like you'll be making a lot of new friends this summer, so everybody stay on the lookout for that. And um, <laughs> and we did sort of touch on the lineup and how there's so many bands playing this year, and, and the fact that there are 100-plus bands can make it a little bit tricky for you guys to stand out. And um, So what is it about you guys that you think sets you apart from the rest, especially in the pop-punk scene? Well, um, we're super fun, and we are good at jokes. And, like, I need a sample of the good jokes. <laughs> they're hibernating right now, and when it's summer, they're okay. just radiating, and you're like gonna lose your mind, like watching the Chappelle show. All right. Um, but like, I don't know. Like, we're we're not a cool guy, machismo band. Uh, we don't, you know, hold a certain standard to to what it is to be in this lifestyle that you hear about or read about and we're definitely not kicking anybody off stage or any of that sort of thing. Um, we're just ready to embrace new people, say what's up, hang out, um, eat churros, drink Monster, that's actually water out of a can. <laughs> True. <laughs> there's no gimmicks here. It's like, you know, like, we're hard working and we got lucky and we want to express that and that's just how it is. Yeah, definitely a great way to put it. And I think being out on Warp Tour, that's the mentality that everybody tries to have out there. So I really love that. And um, your album, Old Bones, is also out now. Um, so what would you say is the mission statement of what you guys are trying to accomplish through your music on this album? Um, Andrew, what did you think, man? <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess, I mean, Ali obviously wrote the lyrics, but I think the biggest thing is it's 100% honest. There's no bullshit. It's uh, art. Can I cuss? I'm sorry. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, there's no BS. Uh, it's just basically flat out honest, fun record that we had um, that we just basically poured our hearts out into, and I guess hopefully it, it you know, translates. People can see it. So. Mhm. Mm yeah, yes. and and one song that I've noticed on social media that a lot of fans are really connecting to is "Damaged Kids." Um, so can you give me a little insight on the inspiration for that song? Uh, yeah, I really wanted to write a song that I would want to hear um, if I was 15, 16, 17, when the, the, the time in your life where you're not making the, the weighted consciousness of paying your rent yet, I hope you're not at least, um, you know, and you're not doing all these things that the world just sucks the life out of you. It's where you're, you're blossoming, you're finding your favorite authors, you're finding your favorite bands and these sort of things. I really wanted to write a song to myself in that, in respect to that idea where I would find a band and he was just saying some real shit, like he was just being honest and you're feeling isolated, you're feeling lonely, you're feeling like the pressure is on to be something that you're not or something that maybe someone in your family or friends are trying to make you be, like fitting a circle into a square essentially. And so I just really wanted to extend digitally, sonically, my hand and be like, look, I've been there. Um, I'm not the most successful dude, but if you can turn your damages or your you know setbacks or things that are um, normally could make you considered an outcast if you can turn those into um, positives and a, a ladder to climb to the next step of life and that's kind of what Damage Kids is all about it's just a song to myself for myself and for anyone else that's like me I guess yeah that is such an awesome message and it's definitely something that I can see that your fans are really latching onto and can totally relate to which is so great and another song on the album, Come and Go, you just released back in December. A really fun music video for that. We just saw a behind-the-scenes photo on the Vans Warped Tour Instagram, which you're taking over today. Yeah. Um, so how, how was that filming process for you guys? Because it looked like a blast. <laughs> Not painful. <laughs> Ridiculously painful. Oh. I fell on my roller skates. I messed up my wrist. Like, none of that was acting. It was all <laughs> real to the fullest extent. Oh, no. Mm. We're going to give you some rollerblading lessons this summer, then. You probably yeah. should. <laughs> we'll work on it. I definitely need them. Yeah. And how, what, how did you guys come up with the concept for that video? Because it was definitely a creative one. Um, we wanted to, like, I don't know, it's, it's like the juxtaposition of art itself. Like, we really, 
again, with that, like, we don't want too serious of a, a, a note. Like, we know that the song, people pick it apart and they want it to be bigger than it is or what have you. But I, I like the play of, like, light and dark and hilarity and, like, seriousness. So the song itself, listening through headphones, you might take it on this crazy journey. But the video, you almost forget and you just see a couple of goons, like, rollerblading, getting their ass kicked by these, like, really cool girls. And, um, and so... You know, we just I I had a couple ideas and I th shot them over to Dustin at Victory and I was like, dude, I wanna I wanna do this and he was like, oh, you know, we back and back and forth as creatives do. And he was like, wouldn't it be awesome if you guys got your ass kicked by Roller Derby Girls? And I was like, yes, yeah. that would yeah. be so sick. <laughs> and so I don't know, man. That's just the way it is. Like things can't be taken too seriously, especially in a in the age of where you gotta get that focus real quick. I was like, let's just be us. Let's just act fools. And, uh, and like like Niall said, none of that was acting. You know, it was we got our asses handed to us, man. Except for <laughs> except for the part where we looked like we knew what we were doing. That was the acting. <laughs> All right, noted. <laughs> I love that. And so, getting back to the album here a little bit. Um, for anybody who hasn't heard your music yet or hasn't heard the album, um, what song do you think they should check out as a first impression that you think maybe encompasses the album well? Maybe each of you have different choices. I don't know. Yeah, that's a good idea. Andrew, what do you think, man? Um, I would say playing in traffic because it's a little bit of everything. Like We've taken influences from all different styles and kind of threw it into that one song. So if you kind of want to get the accoutrement, I would say playing in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. What about you, Niall? Um, I would say probably simple type. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like... I mean, it doesn't have, like, screaming, like, playing in traffic, but I feel like it's a pretty well-rounded song. Like, mm -hmm. it's very poppy, but also more on, like, the rock side, too. All I think right. it's a great first impression. Definitely a good jam. Yeah. And Oliver? I would say listen to Human Machines and be like, yo, okay, this is cool. And then go to Playing in Traffic, and you'll be like, okay, okay, these are washed, okay. And then I would listen to A Light in the Dark, say, like, yo, these guys are, like, emotional and you could put it on Tumblr. So. <laughs> I love that. Now we're, I really hope we see that song just taking over Tumblr now. <laughs> but I think between three of you guys we got a pretty good plan. <laughs> and we did get a fan question here. We asked for questions on Twitter using the hashtag AskBroadside. We, so we have uh, one from Piper wanting to know what is the song you have the most fun playing live and why? That's a good question. Uh, I like playing Come and Go. Because mm -hmm. it's just a fun, bouncy song, and it's always just a good time to play it. Yeah, definitely a good choice there. And so, I mean, those are all my questions for you guys. So do you have anything else you want to say to Warped fans before we head out? Um, let me think. Yes, <laughs> thank you guys um, for the opportunity to potentially play in front of you and also spreading our name like wildfire on the Internet. Um, like I said, we live in a digital age, so our success or our well-being or our mentality stay on top because people support us and because you care or you want to know more about us or learn more about our music or any of that sense. Like Just starting a conversation is incredibly important for any band you support, not just us, not just the little guys, not just the big guys. Um, so thank you guys for talking about us. That's pretty much it. <laughs> also, if you see us at Warped Tour, don't be afraid. Just stop. We always like to meet everybody. Say what's up. We'd love to hang out. So come see us. Definitely. Yeah. Fabulous. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. This has been so great. And I definitely think you're one of the IT bands that everybody should make sure to check out this summer. So everybody watching, head over to the Full Sail stage this summer. Check out Broadside. It'll be a blast. And uh, I'll see you guys in a couple months on Warped Tour. That's good. So All right. Bye. All right. Bye.